Welcome to the Nicholas 11 x technology, and it looks like April is the month of CPU coolers for me, the third one already in April. This time, however, we're not looking at a liquid CPU cooler. Today we're looking at the Deepcool GamerStorm Assassin 2 Air CPU cooler. This is Deepcool's flagship air cooler that should apparently compete with the big monsters of the competition, but also liquid coolers. How well this cooler really performs and how loud it is, we'll find out in this review today. The Assassin 2 currently costs around 90 US dollars, which definitely is not a low price, but very competitive. Thanks a lot to Deepcool for sending me this beast of an air cooler to review. First of all, I gotta say that's a really nice looking box. Inside of it is the CPU cooler itself with the fans pre-attached already, so you're pretty much ready to go right out of the box. Very nice indeed. Then of course all the mounting brackets, the back plate, screws and so on, all out of metal by the way. Deepcool also includes their popular fan hub, a tube of thermal paste, an adhesive strip, a cable tie and a nice case badge. Last but not least, the user's manual. This is Deepcool's new generation of the Assassin Cooler. The original looked similar, but changes indeed have been made here on this Assassin 2. Unfortunately, I did not test the original, so I can't compare it with that one, but we can still put it against powerful liquid coolers. Right away, I just have to tell you guys, I really like the way this Assassin 2 cooler looks like. I know, I say it often enough in my reviews, but really, you just gotta agree with me on this one. The design is kept simple in some way, paired with the awesome look of the these red Deepcool fans. And because this cooler is so huge, it makes a powerful impression as well. I like the fact that both fans are pre-attached already for you, right out of the box, but I should let you know, the fan in the middle of these two towers needs to be taken out in order to install this cooler into your system. That's no problem though. Now you surely want to know the dimensions of this cooler, right? 143 by 158 by 167 millimeters. That's a really big and tall CPU cooler, so before buying it, make sure it actually fits into your case. The Assassin 2 features an asymmetric twin tower design, which looks cool and all, but unfortunately doesn't really allow for an additional fan to be attached on the left tower. Still, let's be realistic how many of us actually get a third fan for such a cooler. Therefore, that extra aluminum will certainly further improve the cooling performance a little bit. The fans are attached to the towers with these standard metal clips. There's no need to have anti-vibration pads or anything like that to reduce vibrations, since the fans are rubberized anyways. The right one is Deepcool's GF120 120mm fan and the one in the middle, the GF140, a 140mm fan. What's so special about these fans and therefore the Assassin 2 cooler is that these fans are capable of having minimum fan speeds of 300 RPM. Therefore on idle you could experience one of the quietest PC operations ever with such a high-end air CPU cooler. The GF120 has fan speeds of about 300 to 1040. 400 RPM, a max airflow of 68.06 CFM and a noise level of 17.8 to 27.3 decibels. The GF140 has fan speeds of about 300 to 1200 RPM, a max airflow of 70.08 CFM and a noise level of 17.8 to 26.5 decibels. You probably already know, these fans make use of the fluid dynamic bearings, for short FDB, and the fan impellers are detachable, allowing you to lubricate with oil to further extend the lifespan. These indeed are high quality fans. As you'd expect, this is a very heavy cooler, with 1,479 grams. The Assassin 2 comes with a nickel-plated copper base and a total of 8, yes, 8 heat pipes. Very, very impressive. Of course, all the important sockets are supported. Intel LGA 2011, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 775. AMD AIM-3 Plus AIM-3, AIM-2 Plus AIM-2, FM-2 Plus FM-2, and FM1. Mounting the CPU cooler into my system pretty much was hassle-free, except that I could only install two of my high-profile memory modules. Well, that's the case with most high-end air CPU coolers anyways. Low profile should be perfectly fine though. Also, although the cooler doesn't really match the color scheme black and yellow of my MSI Z97X Power AC motherboard and MSI's GTX 770 Lightning, it still looks awesome in my case, and huge. 
Now let's overclock my HUD running Intel i7 for the 770K to check how well this Assassin 2 really performs. Will it assassinate liquid coolers? Let's find out. Alright, no surprise of course, this cooler is good. The Assassin 2 is totally able to keep up with the top of the line all-in-one liquid CPU coolers, even with Deepcool's own Captain 360 I reviewed not too long ago. With that said, it blows pretty much all the coolers away in my charts. Well, not blow away, let's just say it performs a little bit better. So no doubt the CPU cooler has a good price performance ratio. It costs about $90 and offers pretty much the same performance as high-end AIO liquid coolers. That's impressive. On idle this cooler is very very silent. You can almost see the spinning fan blades with your bare eyes because of the low RPM of about 300 on idle. That means you get very quiet operation when not doing CPU intensive stuff of course. On full load, you of course get to hear the two fans ramp up, and that's where it gets a little louder compared to liquid coolers such as the Captain 360. But still, I wouldn't really call it loud anyways. However, there's one thing we shouldn't forget to talk about, and that's the interference with high profile memory. As you saw yourself, I could only install two of my high profile RAM modules. I'm not sure, maybe if you turn the cooler around, basically install it the other way around, all four high profile modules could fit. But then again, I didn't test it. Still, that's what we unfortunately have to expect when it comes to these big high-end air CPU coolers. Low profile memory shouldn't cause any issues though. And yeah, the installation was easy and hassle-free as always with Deepcool's coolers. And you definitely notice with that Assassin 2, they wanted to guarantee maximum cooling performance here. A great new contender for the high-end CPU cooler market. I'd definitely recommend this Deepcool Gamerstorm Assassin 2 CPU cooler. Truly a beast of an air cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.